The purpose of this video is to show you how to create a frequency table. Um, so if you open up the SPSS document, you go to Analyze, you click on Descriptive Statistics, and then Frequencies. <clears throat> and then what you do is you click the variables um, into this column that you want to do um, the frequency chart on. And so here I already have the two for this class. If you click on charts and you can click on bar chart or pie chart, uh, either one, and but I would click on frequencies, hit continue, click on statistics, uh, click on mean, median, mode, and then min and max, and standard deviation, click continue, <clears throat> and so you have all the information in there, click OK, and up pops your results. And so here is the frequency tables, and I clicked on bar chart, so it shows these very pretty pictures demonstrating the data. How likely are you to recommend this field instructor to other students? You can just visually see that most people said very likely um, and less people said unlikely. And so if we go back up to this frequency table, what you see is the first question. Now, this is the label that you put into uh, the data. When you created the data set, the label that you should have put in was how likely are you to recommend this placement to other students? And so that shows up here, which is why it's really important to put a label in there. How many students selected very unlikely? Three. So the frequency is how many people selected that item. The percentage is the percentage of all the participants, what percentage selected that item. So three people said very unlikely, which was 15% of our participants. And so with this frequency table, what you do um, is you can just right click on it, click on copy special, and then it should say rich text, and then click on image, click OK, <clears throat> and then you pull up your Word document, and then right click, and you can say paste, and then up pops the document. Now the two columns that you really need are the frequency and percentage. So what you could do is I, uh, you can click and highlight the valid percent and the cumulative percent, and I say delete cells, delete entire column, and then they go away. <clears throat> Although when you do that, the question disappears, so you want to, you could select these, delete cells, and then say shift the cells left, and then there you go, then you keep the question or the label. Um, the other thing too is you can click and drag on the columns to make them bigger. So you can see my cursor, when I go, when I put it right on the line of the box, it becomes a plus. <clears throat> and so then I can widen or reduce the columns. And so I can, I can uh, change that to make it all on one line. So that looks great. So that's a frequency table.